Hello and welcome to Olton Park. We're here in the Toyota GR86 today. This is the first time that I have raced this car at this track. Though it is far from the first time I've been to Olton Park, that's for sure. Um, I keep finding myself wanting to drive this thing around here like it's the Mazda. <laughs> and uh, it is not the Mazda. And it doesn't drive uh, quite You're like the today. Mazda in a lot of ways. Okay, Colton. We've got two and so that is a habit I'm trying to break. Because, uh, well, when I try to drive this thing like a Mazda, it doesn't work too well. So, trying to get used to how this specifically drives. And I've been having a little more success once I kind of got into the habit of making sure I get my braking done before I start turning the wheel. Which, you, uh, which is a good habit to get into anyway, for most road racing. So, that's probably uh, something I should try to be in the habit of more anyway. But it definitely helped me out a lot, especially like under braking and stuff, so. Gonna work on that. I am definitely gonna hit that black tire stack right there at some point, I swear. I mean... I went through there gentle right now because this is just the outlap, but when pushing it, it cuts real close and I just know I'm going to end up smacking that thing at some point. I really hope I'm wrong, but it's very easy to do if you're trying to get through there quickly. So uh, spoiler alert, that's probably going to happen. <laughs> at least it'll be, I don't know, spectacular. It'll be a noteworthy crash. I don't think I have the greatest speed. I think I might have, you know, I might be somewhat competent. I don't think I'm going to be the fastest in here, despite being the number one. Um, green flag, green but I might be able to put in a solid run. We'll see. I was third fastest in practice, but I was about a second off the fastest okay, guy. So that's what that's making me think I'm probably not going to compete for the win. But you know, I might have a I might have a chance at a solid run. If I can at least put it together, so that means staying on, staying on track, and kind of taking the lessons that I've uh, learned, watching a few of Gavin's pre uh, previous races recently, where he has gotten more success from this. As I overdrive that corner terribly, that was awful. Uh, he's had a little more success once he uh, wasn't trying to do too much, not overdriving it. Uh, he had a couple better finishes in a row once he kind of uh, took that approach. So maybe that's what I gotta do here too. I haven't watched his latest video, but I know he had a couple better results after taking that approach, so. Probably a good philosophy. Will I hit the tires this lap? Well, I didn't. I, that was kind of slow. But I didn't hit the tires. It really wants to start kicking sideways whenever you uh, are under braking. That's why it really helped me once I started finishing my braking before turning. The weight really likes to shift in this car, it feels like. You can really feel it like tipping left and right, it feels like. I don't know if that's the correct term for what's actually happening or not, but just kind of trying to relay the feeling I'm getting from this thing. We're about a second off our all-time optimal. I'd like to do a little bit better than that, but... All is well. At least I'll have a banker lap in, and I can try to push a little bit more this lap. One more lap. So that's a 153.3. P2, you've just done a 153.3. Okay, decent through there. I'm going to call decent just right about where I uh, have optimally hit it. Oh, getting pitched too much. That wasn't good. I kind of drove it like a Mazda there. The Mazda, you can really pitch into the corners. This one, it doesn't work quite as well. So there's a case of me trying to drive this thing like the Mazda. Not how this works. Got through there okay. 
This lap at least is faster so far. Oh, almost got an off track there. That was still terribly slow. Ah, I am really bad at that corner. Or that chicane there. It's so tough. So that is not how to how to do that. This this little corner is kind of interesting because it feels like you should be able to full throttle it, but I haven't really been able to. It feels like you push off wide if you do, even though it feels like you're uh, going through there so slow. Mm, I don't think you want to hit the curbs. Yeah, that was pretty slow. This car never seems to like curbs. It hits it and then starts bouncing around for a year and a half, and then you just lose time. That was not a good lap either. I'm struggling. This is going to be a little bit better, but it's still like a whole second off my optimal. That's not good. Four. People are going to be running faster second laps here, though, and that's going to drop me down. Yeah, look at that. Like 152.2 up there at pole. And we're going to drop some more. Unfortunately, we're going to be in the thick of it. Hmm. I've had some really bad road races lately. Um, just road racing on my own time and like rookie series and stuff. I've just been driving terrible. So um, I lost my A4.0, which I just got back. Mad at myself for that. Hmm. So that kind of sucks. I also noticed we have the other Colton in here. He was in the 87 Legends race that we did. He was the one that uh, had an awesome run. He saved tires better than I did, if you uh, did or did not watch that race. So uh, I, by the end of that race, I was rooting for him because he, he had the win locked down and then a late caution basically cost it for him. So that kind of stunk because he was like the, I think he was like the 16 in that race too. And he was going for the win. And... Uh, he was just kind of following me up through traffic as we saved tires the whole race. And then we caught the leaders, but he caught him first because he did even better the job than I did. So it was kind of a cool battle between Coltons. And um, unfortunately, neither of us got it, but he did finish ahead of me. So he was the victorious Colton in that race. So kind of cool to see him out here in a road series. Um, I'll just subtly root for, root for him, too, in this one. Uh, 15 having some issues. 10 incidents in qualifying. In fact, we got a lot of people with a lot of incidents. Over half the field has gotten incidents in qualifying. Maybe that's a sign that we just need to keep it on track and we'll be okay. Where have I fallen to? Still fifth. Okay, so it looks like we're going to start fifth. That's better than I thought. I thought I was going to drop more than that. I was definitely close to dropping a couple more spots. I do hope I can at least survive the start of the race. That's always a uh, a task. One to go. That's right, we got rolling starts. Okay, cool. Rolling starts in this series. I'll take that. Have all time optimal up. We'll get the fast repair ready. And we'll get started. Get a look at uh, who we got around us. We got. Steve Jobs in front of us, apparently, and his Apple computer car. Do you think it runs on, like, Mac operating system? <laughs> An electric car in this series, wow. I'm taking a look around. East Coast US server, enjoy the latency. Don't know what that means. Does that just me? I didn't really pay attention. I guess we have a lot of... I did see like a lot of people from Australia and stuff in here. Maybe that's uh, why he's saying that. Feels like uh, more often than not, you're going to get plenty of people with latency issues in road series. Because there's always going to be people from all over the world, it seems like. And just always something to consider. Remember... Not that long ago, I had a really bad case of netcode that sent me around in this car. It was like one of the worst I've seen. I don't remember if that was when I recorded or not. Hmm. 
But uh, it was just a case where we had some side-by-side -side racing and then someone just get absolutely destroyed. I think it was me. <laughs> I think I was the one getting hit, but it never should have happened. That was a little while ago. Got to use a little bit of clutch to get this thing rolling. It really wants to be slow. Oh. I don't know if that actually helped or not, but looks like we'll be starting in second gear. Not quite Sakuba, at least, where we're immediately going green after rolling for about two seconds. Thankfully, everyone's able to actually kind of get caught up and do a proper rolling start. We'll be watching this blue car for his jump. Get ready, going green. Green, green, green. Okay, Colton. Fifteen minutes left. That's Off and minutes. going. Left side. Clear. All right. We got a crash behind. I saw it back there. Lots of smoke. Don't overdrive it early on. It's not going to be want, want to be as grippy. So I got to keep that in mind. We all also be going a little bit faster with draft, so I got to think about that too. Decent start. We can build something from here. All right though. We we're, we're doing okay. We got about a second behind us already. We've got the leader within our sight still. And we've got a very tough corner coming up. Don't ruin it. Don't hit the black thing. The tires. I definitely way over under drove that because I was scared. And now the 17th coming up on me a million miles an hour. He's going to dive it in, isn't he? No. Okay, we're good. Hey. Appreciate him for not being over aggressive. You kind of get just you kind of just get used to people being way aggressive on iRacing. racing that when it doesn't happen, you're like, "Oh, hey, wow, neat." Is that respect I just saw? <laughs> it's, a, it's like a seeing a unicorn. So we'll keep in this draft if we can, with this five in front of us. Gotta really be careful off of that corner. It feels like it can get kind of oversteery if you're not careful you're in nice fourth position. position you're looking really good come on keep your focus p4 got through there pretty good leader's pulling away just a bit I think I'm overcomplicating that corner I'm overthinking it, and I just need to take it nice and smooth. Get through there pretty good. We got we got some people real close to each other heading into this tough spot though, so I'm gonna have to watch out a little bit. Not really much I can do about that, just can't run through people, so kind of take that a little bit more gently and survive. Even they're a little bit hot. We're good though. I don't think any of us have anything for the three. The three's got some great pace, it looks like. He's pulling away from just about everybody here. Oh, I hit that darn curb. Don't think that's the way to be. Although, actually, that was kind of fast. Draft is helping, but it didn't hurt us too bad.
very scary to get on throttle here, and that's why it, it's it really wants to spin on you. I swear. I don't know if that's a traction control thing. I always hear Nick and Gavin and people that drive this, and other people that drive this car talk about, oh man, the traction controls kicked in and got me or something. And I just I have not very I don't have very much experience with cars that have traction control, so I can't really identify what that exactly feels like. But I think it's like when they're referring to exactly what I had happen there, where it feels kind of snappy. And uh, it kind of starts controlling weird because the traction controls trying to prevent me from spinning or something. So that's interesting. Got a nice gap behind us. I would be just fine with the P4, so let me not throw this away. We're keeping up just fine with the two guys ahead. All right, Colton, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. The gap ahead is now 0.6. I keep worrying that I'm gonna like hit that inside curb there and cut it just a little bit too much and hit some grass or something and spin it. It hasn't happened yet. But I'm just, I'm so worried that's going to eventually get me. Just trying to be gentle when I get back on the throttle there. I really don't want to spin it out. Doing good though. I'm feeling a lot better than I did early on. Early on in practice, I was really struggling. Going back to the idea of driving it like the Mazda and just not having any success. Really had to re uh, rearrange my brain a little bit. Just because I've done this. I've raced this place in the Mazda, I don't know, several dozen times now. So, to get here in a new car, just gotta rethink how this place works a little bit. We are slowing down way too much. Wait Thankfully too I was able to not get in the back of one, but that was way too slow through there. Again, really slow through here. I don't want to run in the back of them. I don't know who it, I think it might be the 18 checking us all up. I'm not sure exactly what caused that, but that was a little scary. Okay, pretty good sector there. Of course, this sector goes all the way to the end of the lap, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Okay, we got six. I only drove that a little bit. Oh, but the guy ahead overdrives it. Okay, he's gonna be protective. That's a little annoying. All right. Still there. Clear. Colton, halfway home. Makes a mistake and then just decides to slow us both down to keep the spot. Whatever, part of road racing, even if it's frustrating. Your lap time was at 153.4. Sector 2 is 0.9 off the pace. A little more aggressive through there that time. I don't know how much it paid off. I don't know how I'm going to make a pass. It doesn't seem to be... I'm not sure where I'd be comfortable even trying to get that done here. for the best I'm behind these guys that are kind of entering that a little soft because I'm probably just 
being way too risky anyway. And I probably would have died by now, entering it like I try to. Just making him look. He did not seem to be afraid. Every place on this course, though, that you would be side by side feels a little bit dangerous, so that's why I'm, I'm kind of concerned about how I would go about something like that. Oh, that's wide, dang it. That's an off track. It's fast, but it's an off track. Thought about sending it in on him, but he blocked it off. I'm gonna go real slow through here again, I'm sure. They're getting off in the grass. If I've got a great run, though, he's gonna try to make a pass. We might just have to wait for them to run into each other or something. Oh, he overdrives. Oh, we got a mess right now. Well, he gets it done, I guess. That was a bit sketchy, but he, he made it work. Push. We might get third here. Oh, he's going real slow. Left side. Keep to the right. Clear. We got it done. Thankfully, he backed off a little bit. Cool. That's a that's a pass. I actually made a pass. You're now in third. Come on, keep nailing those exits. P three. Dang it! I really tried to keep it on the course there. I don't want to have too many of those. They're pretty good, happy with that. How much time we got? Not much. Okay, Colton. Okay, Didn't quite stick the bottom of that corner there, like I think I should have. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right side. Still there. This is not a fortuitous place for us, though. Keep to the left. Definitely yeah. overdriving that. He would have killed me if I drove it in like normal. He's being pretty dangerous overall. It's gonna be hard to pass someone who I can't trust to hold their line. If I had stuck on his outside there, he just would have shoved me off the course. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Last lap. Last lap. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it done, but I'll see if I can find a spot to... To give it a go. Okay, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Fastest lap for McDonald, 152.1. Curb to get some turn, that worked out pretty well.
It overdrives it a little bit. Not there though. <sighs> it's so tough to pass. Almost hit the tires. That's the last time we have to pass them though, so we have survived the, those uh, tire stacks for this race. Oh my gosh, he almost hit those though. I almost hit those. Tire stacks of danger everywhere. Yeah, I just I did not have a good sector there. That was pretty awful. So That's fine. We'll see what we can get these last couple of corners. You can tell the tires have lost some grip. We're not close enough to uh, do anything unless he makes a major mistake, though. All right. What we do, but... Oh, they were muted. Go race, go win. I didn't realize they were muted. I hope they didn't say anything. Nice one. There's the flag. It's <laughs> over. Look like you guys are having more fun than me. Yeah, sorry, we couldn't make it more interesting for you. It was a nice drive, though. Yeah, he uh, kind of ran away with it. So it might have been a little boring for him, but he definitely uh, earned it. He was pretty fast. But P3, I'm definitely going to take that, especially because I wasn't feeling all that comfortable to start with. So uh, I'm definitely feeling good. The other Colton finished pretty good, too, as the 16, finishing A, so nice job to him. I don't actually know him that well, it's just we had a really good race in the 87s that one time. <laughs> um, so, we'll get uh, we'll get the podium. Seems like everybody had a pretty fun race. I was a little concerned after seeing some of those numbers just in qualifying. But, I mean, it seems like we're, uh, it seems like most people have had a positive experience overall. That's cool. We'll go ahead and see the incidents. I'm sure there are some that had a rough time. Far chase. Angle a little bit better. And go. Oh, that's right. We did have a turn one, lap one spin. That guy managed to run into two people in one corner. That's not great. We've got a better safety rating than me, too, so I guess it just happens to everybody sometimes. Oops. That is not what I meant to hit. So everyone was just kind of getting real slow into the corner, I think, because they were like almost three wide, not quite three wide, and then everyone's kind of not sure where they're going to be, and then they break real early, the six just isn't ready for it. And then quite a wild ride going on there for a couple people. That guy gets in there pretty hard, comes up and hits the other guy. Just, it seemed like some guys were very uh, intent on taking it easy turn one, and other guys were ready to go 110%, and uh, they met in the middle. Lap two, the nine gets unsettled on braking. I was getting some of that in practice. That's kind of what it was looking like. You know, just braking and then turning the wheel left while still braking. It was really doing this kind of thing to me where it gets real unsettled that's why i had to start focusing on braking first getting the car slowed down and then starting to turn and once i just started doing that it was i was having a much better time i did that too <laughs> that's exactly what i thought for sure was going to happen at some point this video thankfully i avoided it. I, I got them all out of the way during practice i guess what is the leader doing Looks like he's hitting his marks to me. Hitting him so close that I, apparently the it thought that he hit him. 12 goes a little wide. Spins it out. Ooh. That seems like just tough racing. Like I was kind of saying, it's like there are no real great places to be side by side here. Everything always feels a little bit sketchy. Um, I think maybe the uh, 
Seven could have given a little bit more room. And maybe this guy probably could have entered a little bit closer here so we had a better angle at it. But in the end, I think that was, you know, net code making it worse. They were going to hit no matter what, but it looked more dramatic, I think, than it probably should have been. Either way, they keep it going straight, and they don't even lose much time, so that wasn't so bad. Did we just have a bump and run in a road course series? <laughs> that looked to me like a bump and run. Like, that's textbook bump and run. You get some... Mid corner, pushes him up the track, and then passes him. Uh, we got short track racing <laughs> here at Olton Park. That's pretty funny. I bet it wasn't very funny for the guy that got hit, but uh, I guess if you want to distribute karma for that, there it is. If you have karma points to redeem, please do so at this kiosk. Ooh, that's a new one. I haven't seen that one before. He's uh, turning the wheel and braking at the same time, I think. And it kind of just did that weird weight transfer thing. Maybe it's a traction control thing. Maybe that's what that feels like. But uh, really sent him off to the left. That was very unfortunate. And now he's uh, all out of rhythm. I've been there before where you make one mistake and then it's just ten more after that because you just completely lose the rhythm you were in. Oh. 15. It looks like he's got the guy on the inside. He should be getting a call there, and he's just turning down too much. I mean, you've got, like, a divider showing, like, the middle of the track. I think he just turns down too much on him right there. So after 10 incidents of qualifying, and then... 11 here in the race. He's not doing himself any favors. <laughs> Is this the end of the race? We got someone just uh, going into the abyss? No, it doesn't let him. Invisible wall. Hey, that was it. So, you know, overall that was pretty darn good. So we got ourselves a P3. Um, you know, kept it relatively clean. We got the couple of 1Xs on turn 1, just from me overdriving just a bit. But uh, I'll definitely take that for sure and uh, feel good about a podium finish. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Had some a little bit of action in that one, some guys to battle, and uh, got ourselves a good finish. So I will see you next time, and I hope you have a good one. See ya.